Hey, it's Sol, and here is your guide to week six of Shadowlands to help keep you on track or to just remind you of how behind you are in a really passive and inoffensive way. First up should probably be the world boss, and this week it's Valinor, like, finally, Riot. Priests and paladins and shamanses can finally get a crack at obtaining the legendary memory that drops off of this boss, which I will show you here for your convenience. I should remind folks that it is possible to obtain legendary memories that are normally out of your reach by purchasing the Chronicle of Lost Memories from your renowned Quartermaster. To buy this, you need to meet a hard requirement of permanently reinforcing four anima streams here at your anima conductor, which I clearly have not done, but you know, you get the idea. This means your conductor needs to be at at least rank 2. Completing activities unlocked by the conductor will award you these grateful offerings, the currency used to buy these things. Next step is to stop by Ouroboros and pick up your weeklies to run dungeons and PvP stuff, and take a glance at the Great Vault. It's kind of funny that since we can see our choices before we actually choose them, we can pretty much go all week getting gear and whatever and by week's end, settle on some piece to fill out our gains. I mean, you can grab your stuff from the vault however you like, it's just, you know, interesting player behavior response. The weekly event this time around is Lich King Time Walking, which includes the quest to get some raid gear and Ulduar, so get ready in case leveling through time walking is super broken, you know, in a good way. Unfortunately, Blizzard threw in a wrench, and now time walking requires at least level 50 to access, but it's still pretty good for alts. On the flip side, at least the gear will be mostly usable, unlike in BFA, where Azerite gear and the Heart of Azeroth kind of spoiled the fun. This coming Sunday, the Darkmoon Fair begins. Thanks to a tip from Twitter user LoneWoodRob or LoneWoodRB, you can hold off on turning in your calling quests from Friday and Saturday, and then turn them in after picking up the reputation bonus from the Darkmoon Fair on Sunday. You can also do the same for your weekly quests in Ouroboros and the Maw as well. For reasons I don't quite understand, the next wing of Raid Finder is not going to open this week, instead Wing 2 is going to open up on January 5th. So another reminder that time walking may be especially lucrative this time around. <laughs> Get it? I, I should stop pointing out my puns. Also stop by the Enclave for another part of the questline to open the Twisting Corridors. There are only a few of these quests left before the game mode finally opens up, and you can start your long climbs toward obtaining a very special mount. Off to the Covenant Sanctum you go, to pick up your usual weeklies for Renown and your Covenant activity if you research that. The maximum possible Renown has finally turned 18, woo woo! Reaching Renown 16 unlocks the first round of the Covenant Armor skins, not gear but skins, that you can buy from the Renown vendor. Renown 17 will unlock another leg of your Covenant campaign and an additional adventure person, bringing you to a total stable size of 9 if you've been keeping up. Completing the campaign will push you to Renown 18, which will unlock another row for one of your Soulbinds. Something important to point out for alts and more casual players, at this point of the Covenant campaign you have been awarded 8 pieces of your upgradable Covenant set, which unlocks the 8 piece bonus. If you've been developing this set, it means that you'll now have an 8 piece set that has an item level of 184, aka Mythic Zero gear. It might not seem like much, but it's not bad if you haven't stepped into more than a dungeon or two. And that's going to be it for this week, folks. Be sure to subscribe to stay caught up, and for more Warcraft videos, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Mm -hmm.